Hello, my name is Ilian St. Hilaire, and in this video we're going to show off Mesh Central 2 routing tool. So there's many cases where you want to use any application you want, but route the TCP connection, whether it's RDP, SSH, um, uh, you know, PuTTY, any app you want, you want to be able to route the TCP connection over the internet to some other network and then connect to some uh, target device. So this is what we're going to do here. So I have my Mesh Central 2 uh, test set up here and it's running there. We don't need to see this. So this is my setup. I'm going to click on the machine and starting with this version there is a router link on the bottom and I click on that and it gives me two links, uh, the Mesh command tool and an action file. And you can get the Mesh command tool for any platform that the mesh agent runs on so any agent any um, operating system that the mesh agent will, will function on we also have a mesh command uh, for that platform so uh, here the operating system you're going to select is the operating system you want to run the tool on so in this case it's uh, windows 32 for me so i'm just going to download mesh command and download this action file and you'll see this action file basically tells Mesh Command uh, where, what port to map and to where and to what device. And this file here is going to be pre-filled with some of the information about this server and this device. So I'm going to go here into my uh, download folder. I'm actually going to take the Mesh Command and Mesh Actions, move them to temp. There you go. So I have it here and I'm going to try, I'm just going to open the mesh action file and it's basically a um, actually just to make it easier we're going to open Visual Studio I'm going to edit it in Visual Studio like this just to make it easier to view so the action is going to be a route it's going to be port 1234 is going to be mapped to uh, AMT machine 7 this is the node id of machine 7 and the rdp port the username uh, this is my username i'm going to use in to log in the password and by the way it says here make sure you edit meshaction.txt and add your account password or make any changes needed so what you need to do is add in my case here for my own test server it's just aa the username and password the server id server hash that's used by the tool to verify it's connected to the right server and the uri is uh, the address that the tool will connect to okay so i have that file set up i put my password here i'm all done so now what i'm going to do is open a command shell i'm going to do go to my temp folder and all i need to do is run mesh command oops mesh command enter and it will say routing port 1234 to uh, this machine port 3389 which has, happens to be the RDP port so then I'm going to run RDP and uh, Microsoft RDP client here and you type 127.0.0.1 port 1234 so basically connect to myself port 1234 this will connect to this tool and this tool will map the connection over to the server and to the other agent and so on so i'm going to just go ahead and connect say yes for the certificate and actually it popped up on the wrong screen here but you'll s but there it goes works perfectly so um so anyway this is this is rdp being done completely over the uh, over the website uh, so again you can do this from anywhere on the internet um, and basically the traffic is relayed through this server out to the agent and then to the target so that's a quick demonstration of the tiny mesh command routing feature and that's one of the first things we'll add in mesh command uh, mesh command will grow slowly as we add more commands to it so thank you very much.